one week away. Can you believe it? I know. Shooting guards. This is what I'm, these are my guys that I'm going to talk about today. I have four guards that I want to talk about. Let's get started with OJ Mayo. OJ Mayo, 6'4", shooting guard from USC. Honestly, there are three teams he can end up on. He can end up on the Miami Heat at number two. He can end up going to Minnesota at number three. Or he can possibly end up in Memphis. But Memphis is going to have to offer up some good lucrative deals to the Miami Heat to move up in the draft. I think Memphis is really, really going to consider it. Mike Miller and Kyle Lowry. Those two guys are on the market right now for possible guys that can be traded to the Miami Heat. That's been rumors that have been going around lately. So, OJ Mayo has pretty much opportunities to go to one of those three teams. I think his high chances may, and he may end up in Minnesota because Minnesota probably wants the best talented player and they probably want somebody that can build back a fan base in Minnesota. I think that's where he will end up. But Miami, do, I, I'm not doubting Miami. I think an OJ Mayo, Dwayne Wade combo in the backcourt will work out great for them. Next up, Eric Gordon. 6'4 guard from Indiana, from, from Indiana. He played great in the freshman season. Toward the end, he kind of suffered. He had a bit of a, a wrist injury. Calvin Sampson left Indiana, but he is a great combo guard. He can play some point guard. He's also a good shooting guard. He is definitely NBA ready. He has the body. He's ready to, ready to go to the league. He's either going to go probably to the LA Clippers at number seven, or he's going to go to the Milwaukee Bucks at number eight. The LA Clippers are looking for a shooting guard right now. Corey Maggette may be heading off into free agency, and he probably may want to venture off and go to another team, maybe a contender since he's been in the league for so long. And then also the Milwaukee Bucks, they are also they are in need of, of a shooting they are in need of a shooting guard, but they are, are they are also in need of a small forward. But the Milwaukee Bucks, from what I've been hearing, I'm quite sure what a lot of you guys have been hearing, is that he may, Michael Red may be getting traded from Milwaukee, and if they go with Eric, Eric Gordon, Gordon can most likely come into that starting shooting guard spot if Michael Red is to get moved this summer. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that, but I think Eric Gordon is one of those two teams, definitely for sure, the Clippers or the Bucks. Next up, Brandon Rush. Brandon Rush has been improving himself greatly through these workouts with these various teams. So his stock has risen a lot. He was a mid-first round pick, but now he's moving up. Two teams that he possibly can go to. Possibly he can go to the Portland Trail Blazers at number 13, or he can go to the Phoenix Suns at number 15. All depending on how the draft pans out and how things work out is how these teams will probably decide on who they want to go to. Portland, what I've been hearing is Portland may ship off, may ship off that one, that that early round draft pick, and probably try to get a veteran onto their team. But if Portland decides to keep keep it, I think that they probably will go with Brandon Rush. He's a very good high possibility that they can go with. He's a great shooting. He's a, he's a great shooting guard, and he can do a lot of things on the floor in a defensive end. But if Portland Portland decides to go in someone else and it leaves options open, I think Phoenix can definitely try to snatch him up at number 15. He would definitely be a great fit for the Phoenix Suns in their up tempos in their up tempo style because he'll be able to get some easy transition baskets. He'll also take off a lot of a lot of um, burden on Raja Bell and Grant Hill with, the, with with them aging a lot. I think Phoenix does need to get a little bit young and a little bit more athletic. My final shooting guard, Chris Douglas Roberts, six six shooting guard. From the Memphis Tigers, Chris Douglas Roberts. He's a great slasher. He's, I think, more of a. He, I think, he's a, a, a much more athletic Rip Hamilton. He can slash at the basket. He can play defense, and he's a great. He's a great shooting guard that you can utilize in many different situations. I think he's going to be in a little bit in the latter part of the first round. He can either go to Orlando at number 22, he can go to the Houston Rockets at number 25, or he can go to New Orleans at number 27. It all depends on what they want to do. I think Orlando's taking a good look at him, and I think if he is there at number 22, Orlando's definitely going to snatch him up because I think Orlando is, I think, a good, solid shooting guard away from being a much better and improved team. But I think also Orlando's also another big man away from being a solid team also. But I digress. The Houston Rockets, he would be a great fit in. He can complement Tracy McGrady. I think those two would be a good, dangerous combination with Yao Ming in the lineup and possibly Ray Ferguson coming back at the point guard next year. And also, New Orleans, he could be a good fit there also. New Orleans is kind of unsure of what's going to happen with their free agents, free agents this year on their team. So Chris Douglas Roberts could be a good pickup for them. And uh, we'll have to see how things pan out. Those are my shooting guards in the NBA draft. Stay tuned for my small forwards.